Welcome to this week of Fly Rod Chronicles. We're out here in Casper, Wyoming, and it's date night. We're going fishing. Nice. I'm going to try. I'm going to do everything I can do to be the perfect date. Shelly, did you bring any Advil by chance? Shoulder's a little sore over here. Yep, yep. Yes. Oh. oh that big one. Ooh, she's on a big one. Dang. Woohoo! Brownie! Oh! You know, Shelly claims that I was the first boy and last boy that she's ever kissed. She went right to town on that fish. She had no problem putting lips on it. She's kissing it? Yes! Oh, so nice. That's ridiculous. That was incredible. Casper, Wyoming, home of beautiful fish. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it. And I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming. And these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. We came to Casper, Wyoming a couple years ago and we got to bring our daughters. This was just Shelly and I. You know, we've just recently empty nested. Coming without the girls was at first a worry because this is actually the first trip I've ever been on without the girls. People talk to you about marriage, people talk to you about kids. I don't think we've ever been educated about empty nested. Um, it's different. You have to learn how to date again. I'm not a popcorn movie kind of guy. That's why I chose Casper, Wyoming, because it's what I love. I know my wife loves it too. Last time I absolutely had the best day fishing I've ever had in my whole life. As we were planning our date, uh, we wanted to add a little bit of competition. Most fish? Extra, extra Most extra fish extra. or biggest fish? It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter? A game is coming out today. So you, do you want to make a wager? Breakfast in the morning. All right, so here's the deal. Let's make it interesting because breakfast, what is it to crack a couple eggs, cook some bacon, that's not. Loser has to take and pay for all the guides to go out to breakfast. Uh, <laughs> there you go, because that's getting expensive. You know, let's let's raise the, I mean, you're money where your mouth is, Curtis. You know, you're not, into this yeah, one. You're not worried. Like you're not worried. You're Curtis Fleming, man. <laughs> I mean, you got this in the bag. Just take just take the easy money right now. Take the easy money. Watch your spend. I think Jesse's on something there. Loser, loser. <laughs> We set everything up, so now I'm just going to go out and smoke you. Easy day today on Fly Rod Chronicles. Oh, and he's a jumper, a leaper, and it's called one to nothing. There wasn't a, there wasn't a size minimum, was no, there? No, no minimum. <laughs> and we'll try, to, hey, we'll try to keep the noise down because we don't want them to know we're ahead. Got to be painful looking from the other boat. Little guy. Good deal, man. Thank you, brother. One out of the way. We got us an urban trout. Yep, sow bug, sow bug, sow bug. Please tell me he didn't just catch one. Oh, they're getting bigger, aren't they? Oh, yep, there we go. Just like it's supposed to happen. You live right, you get rewarded. Pretty man. Oh, well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yep. Sweet. Typical Curtis and Shelley day. Somehow it always turns competitive. Woohoo! Competing with Shelley? I know I can't win, but I am a betting man. Awesome! Yes! Go team Shelley! Yep, high five. Woo! You rock. We'll go do her again. Same old magic, Ty. Same old magic. Last year, I had the opportunity to come to Casper and fish with Ty, and I had one of the most incredible days fishing I've ever had. 
Shelly's one of those clients you just pray you get every day. You know, you tell her one thing and she's like, okay, and she works on it the rest of the day. She did awesome again as normal and she did really good uh, fighting the fish. Oh my gosh, look at him jump in. It's really nice to have clients in your boat that are super excited to catch fish. That's a nice one too. How you doing there, Haas? You probably should have took that other channel. It's a very effective hole. Pretty hot over there, isn't it? Have you seen one of these yet today? Yeah. You want to see what that looks like? See? So let, let's just, uh, you know, where are we at here? How much you got? Three? Tied up. Tied, baby. Come back for more Fly Rod Chronicles as Shelly and I fish in the North Platte River with the guys at Crazy Rainbow. Can't get enough of Fly Rod Chronicles? Check us out online. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. We're out here in Casper, Wyoming, and it's the date show. If I'm gonna be a good date, I'm gonna open the door. Start off right. <laughs> I'm just kidding, get in there. 30 years ago, Curtis asked me out on a date, and it was a Saturday and it was the first day of squirrel hunting season. So that's where Mr. Romantic took me for our first date. And so romantic that a year later, we were, he wanted to celebrate our one year anniversary of dating. So he had the squirrel stuffed and mounted on my wall, which I still have. Shelly's the kind of person I can come home in the evenings and say, let's go to a movie or, or whatever. She's always game. So uh, it's cool, and, and she don't get in the way. I'm just hoping that I do outfish her today because throw, I'll, throw it'll, be a long, to our left. it'll be a long, long plane ride back to West Virginia. There we go. Oh my. Going be it. careful, guys. Don't run over this. It's a big one. He's stuck on the bottom. Probably fish of the day right here. <laughs> is he stuck, or is it really a fish? <laughs> I mean, uh, he is a fighter. What happens when you hook him in the butt? You would see the bend <laughs> in the rod here. We're talking like a very big, big fish. We do count these. Did you snag that? Oh, no, no, right, right in the head. <laughs> well, guys, it happens, and you know what? It just happens. And that could be a sub subtraction, couldn't it? Snags do not count. Oh, oh. Now there's another one. It looks like that's hooked about right. Yep. He, did he catch another fish? Golly, what a fighter. Sow bug again, wasn't it? Thanks for getting those little ones out of the way for us. Putting it on her, huh, j Rod? Yeah. You know, it's our job as a guide to, you know, get them in the right spot and, you know, make sure they have all the fundamentals going. Being in the boat with Ty was like being in a boat with your best teacher ever that you ever had in public school. He helped me knock a lot of the rust off of my casting. Just little techniques that helped me help him be a better guide. Here on the plat, primarily we, uh, we nymph fish a lot, um, probably about 90% of the time. Uh, this is really good for beginning anglers because uh, you don't have to have a really spectacular presentation when you're casting. But the most important part here is mending. Uh, Shelly was kind of having some problems where she was mending a little, a little too loose with her arms so she wasn't getting a good roll on her line. So uh, I was just kind of helping her out by keeping that elbow in and really twisting her wrist over and that really gets that line to travel a lot better so you get a nice crisp mend. Uh, she did awesome. Uh, she caught quite a few fish so it was good. Yep, yep. Yes. Oh. Oh, she's on a big one. Dang. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Did you catch my mama's babies? Woo-hoo-hoo. Brownie. Oh. I saw this spectacular brown at the end of my line. I just could not believe that I caught a brown trout. You know, you got to land it first for it to actually count. Brown trout in this river are pretty rare to catch. Um, I've had friends that have 
fished this for 10 years and never caught a brown, so they're really special fish. This is usually the time they come off. Yeah, put Curtis, put some, you wanted a big brown on a cooler, right? Put a Doesn't put a firm, a firm, firm grip on that reel. Oh, that is so beautiful. Nicely done. Oh, even the guides were absolutely like Shelly. That's incredible that you caught a brown. I bet Curtis isn't going to catch one, and he's going to be so jealous. Oh my goodness! Five extra points for the brown. You know, Shelly claims that I was the first boy and last boy that she's ever kissed. She went right to town on that fish. She had no problem putting lips on it. She's kissing it? Yes! Oh, so nice. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's time for Trout Unlimited's Release of the Week. Look at him go. You yeah, yeah. die. Oh, yes. And in the fall, matching the leaves of the beautiful, just beautiful. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with some beautiful fish from Casper, Wyoming. I couldn't think of a better place, better fisheries to bring my wife home away from home. Don't get me wrong, I, I love my backyard in West Virginia, but coming out here to Casper it is, is just incredible. Everywhere you look, it's a postcard. Also, everywhere you look in the river, there's a fish. This time in Casper, we were able to uh, do some of the urban fishing where we floated through town and we got to see some of the restoration activity that was going on in the, on the river. You know, I felt like a little kid and was honored that I could go on site to this restoration project that's being done right here in Casper. And to see what they're doing to restore this river, you have to check it out for yourself. It, it's amazing. It's Westervelt Ecological Services, time for conservation. It's so cool. I mean, I'm looking back here seeing, you know, dozers and big trucks going through the water. And, and some people claim that that's a no-no. Tell us a little bit why we're doing it. Well, this is part of our Platte River Revival. Yeah. It's a river restoration project for the North Platte River through Casper, Wyoming. And we are actually fixing the river to make it stable. The city took on this project because it's a water quality project and it reduces stormwater pollution. And we partnered with 39 other businesses and governmental agencies in Casper, Game and Fish being one of them. Mm -hmm. So besides being a terrific water quality project for drinking water, it also creates terrific fish habitat. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. We're making deeper pools. Neat. So where we're standing right here, this, this was water at one time. This was river just a few days ago. Right. Narrowing the channel makes the water, makes the river run faster, yep. makes deeper pools for fish. And obviously when you don't have erosion and sediment, that makes for better drinking water. Sediment sure. is a big water sure. pollutant. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you for letting us come out here and film. And, and you know, I got to bring my wife and we got to have a date out Wonderful. here on the river. And I had my kids out here last year and they're, they're really not happy with us that they didn't get to come back for this trip. Well, how about in a year or two from now when we have a lot more fish than we yeah. have right now, you bring those kids and have another trip right here. We would love to. Thank you for Thank having you. us, Jolene. You know, Shelly and I got to do something that I don't think I, I've ever done. Um, we got to do an urban float. It's pretty cool. You know, it's so hard to explain that you're, you're kind of in a solitude state. You're over here on this water and you're all by yourself, but as you're floating down the river, you can kind of see business and life going on. And honestly, it made me feel very fortunate that I was on the riverside. Go, oh, nice, 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 nice jumper. Not jumper, TV fish, jumper, TV fish. He knows Fly Rod Chronicles is on, baby, it is on. He's like, I want to be on that show. 
Let me show you what I can do. Nice. Golly. That was sweet. You the man. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Nice. Love it, love it. Gotta get there one way or another. I'm a fishing bum. For folks that have a family and want to embark on a vacation of a lifetime, Casper, Wyoming has everything they need. Museums, amazing restaurants, bike trails, whether it be mountain biking or rails to trails, beautiful parks, rivers to absolutely open mouth gaze at how beautiful the rivers are. Anytime I get to spend with Curtis, as we are now empty nesting and without our daughters, um, I look forward to it as a new adventure. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, look at that jumper. Woohoo! Make six. Nice. Half a dozen. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Woohoo! It's a nice one. Look at that. I haven't heard Curtis hoop and holler. This would be eight. Yes! Eight is great. Especially if he only has seven. Nice. Is that double digits now? That's eight. So the script says we're having a date and we're staying together. We're an fishing and we're staying together. I wore him out. <laughs> Blake spotted some fish feeding on top. The date almost come to a stop because I went dry fly fishing. Sweet. So you got a good fish. These are straight yep. at the tree there, Curtis. Straight okay. across from you. Yeah, bend it. And again. Yeah, let her swing. And that brown trout really did make me jealous. So I had to one upper and catch a brown trout on a dry fly. So how many did you catch? You'll see in our 88 minute show. And I'd say we're riding at, uh, we're, we're, we're at double digits. I'd say we just hit double digits. To the boat, in the boat. But no brown, did you really catch a brown? We did catch a brown. Huh. I did. On a dry even. Ty's philosophy is, or theory is that this front like made the fish a little, little less hungry. Well, Blake's theory is that it made the fish a lot more hungry. What number do you think you guys are at in the, in the net? We're in the eight and looking great. Yeah, I figured we'd be ahead of you by several. Let's do the math real quick. Probably 20 fish between the two boats, right? Yeah. So if that's a bad day, I, I want to do that every day, right? Um, weather's coming in. Let's duck in, go find a little diner, have a little date. Deal. They had a little wager going amongst the both of them about uh, whoever's going to lose is going to buy everybody lunch. And I didn't really care because no matter who won, I was going to eat anyway. Curtis ended up catching just a few more fish than I did. You know, if you look around here, it's probably smart to get off the water. Let's hit it. You guys, let, let's row for the truck. Yep. Let's do it. These dark clouds moved in, and hail began dropping, and it began snowing and raining all at once while the wind was picking up to what seemed to be a torrential storm. And as soon as we could get off of the river, in our waders, we went to the coolest pub right in our waders. It was awesome. Can we go in there with waders or not? Yeah, they don't care. They don't care? <laughs> so the end of a good day, huh? An amazing day. So in Wyoming, 
We got we got to stop and get boots up. We got got to go home with boots, Western boots, right? Rodeo country, yes. So it's kind of, kind of like our marriage. It all started like with a beautiful, wonderful, great day, and then hail come. Hail, honey. <laughs> this was special. I mean, to be able to come out here with my wife and the kids is growing up. Um, you know, this is one of those things that hopefully we're old sitting on a park bench and uh, reminiscing and truly one of those memories that I'll take to my grave. Thanks again for hanging out with us folks. Come back next week for more Fly Rod Chronicles. I'm just a fishing bum. If I don't have the gas, then I stick out my thumb. I've got to get there one way or another. I'm a fishing bum.